Hey guys, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dogs Sporting, Big Dogs Performance. And today we have a little comparison. You guys are looking at some mufflers right here. We have a Flowmaster 40 series versus our straight through stainless steel mufflers that we sell here at McDonald's Performance. And we're gonna do a little test today, a um, little flow test. Um, we all know how the Flowmasters muffler sound. We all know how the mufflers that we sell sound. Um, they both sound good. Um, this muffler, this Flowmaster 40 series, um, has a nice sound to it um, it has a drone sound to it around 2000 rpm and um, some say on certain applications with certain exhaust systems and headers it may have a hollow type sound to it and the muffler that we sell it has a very nice sound to it as well it doesn't drone, doesn't have a drone to it. Um, the more you get on it, the louder it gets. It's a stainless steel construction, inside and out. Now, the difference in these two particular mufflers, the Flowmaster is a chambered muffler. This one is a chambered muffler. Um, and this muffler, the stainless steel muffler, is a straight through packing muffler. So you have a situation where a lot of individuals, especially on the Mustang, the Mustang crowd, the guys are hooked on the Flowmaster sound and they tend not to do their research on other mufflers you know um, a muffler sound can be altered by several different things it can be altered by the type of headers you have whether you have a X pipe or H pipe the type of camshaft um, you have the size of the exhaust pipes themselves also the compression the compression of the motor all of those things can dramatically change the tone or pitch of these mufflers okay so just do your research but today this video is going to be about flow now you know we sell our ported and modified stainless steel shorty headers for the fox bodies um, also and everyone knows that you know a motor is an air pump there's other factors that's involved in that you know you have the air fuel ratio the tuning of the intake runners and you know the exhaust system but pretty much it's an air pump and a lot of guys they focus in on flow of a throttle body flow of an intake pipe flow of intake manifold flow of the cylinder heads flow of the um, headers flow of the exhaust pipe but when it gets to the muffler they tend to not focus too much on the flow of the muffler they say well I want the best flowing intake with the runner lengths tuned towards the RPM that you know my motor is going to 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 see, I want the best flowing cylinder heads, intake and exhaust port flow from 100 thousands up to 650, 700 thousands um, lift. Well, I want great flowing exhaust system. I want my my headers to flow very very well. I'm getting some big dogs headers that flows. You know around 700 cfm 
um, each each side keyword 700 CFM each side okay but then when it comes to the mufflers I just want some mufflers to sound real well well, I'm going to get the same mufflers that everybody else got, some flow masters or some some whatever. So we're getting ready to do a, a flow comparison to see what these flow masters flow. This is a two and a half inch pipe. Two and a half inch pipe. We cleaned it up on the inside to give this bad boy the best chance possible. This is also two and a half inch. So we're gonna hook these up to the flow bench. See what we have. First up, we have the Flow Master 40 series. This is the inlet. We have the radius to help it out. Set up. We're gonna see what it does. It's the full, full mass of two and a half. So you're looking at about 298, 298 CFM. 298 CFM. Now mind you, our ported modified stainless steel shorty headers flow 700 CFM each side. I'm gonna just leave that right there. I'm gonna pause it and hook up the stainless steel straight through. Okay, we have the stainless steel straight through muffler. Gonna see what it does. Six hundred sixty one CFM. About six six fifty eight. Six fifty eight. About uh, six, yeah, six fifty eight, six sixty one. That's a big difference. That's a huge difference. That's more than double. It's more than double. So, there you have it. Mind you, that was with the radius. We used our radius. So that's radius tested flow on both of them. The flow master and the in-house that we sell. So once again, you know, I, this video might make some guys mad. I'm pretty sure guys are going to try to argue about, oh, well, I made X amount of horsepower with flow master. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that the flow masters are going to get to their flow limit and just choke your motor. It's going to just create back pressure. It's going to reduce the amount of flow and power that your motor can potentially make with a better flowing muffler. Just like any other part you put on the exhaust system or the intake system, you know? This is the equivalent of taking a tailpipe and reducing the tailpipe diameter on your motor to a point where it only flows 300 CFM on the tailpipe. That's what this Flowmaster is doing, 300 CFM versus, you know, 660 CFM for this month. And it sounds great. You know, we have videos showing the muffler. So 
once again, guys, you guys have to be educated. A lot of guys, you know, you're reducing your power. You know, when you put these flow masters on. So what's the point of spending money on cylinder heads, intake manifolds, and camshafts if you're going to reduce, you know, 10, 15, 20, 25 horsepower from the mufflers? You know, in the LS world, those guys are reporting, you know, 30, 40 horsepower losses with the Flowmaster mufflers when they take them off. No other change. Change to a better muffler, still sounds great, pick up more horsepower. You know, same thing with the Coyote motors. Those guys, when they put the Flowmaster mufflers on, they lose horsepower. So, once again, it's Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dogs trying to shed some light, you know, on helping you guys make the most power possible. See you guys at the track.